What's up YouTube? Welcome to Musty Eddie's Tactical HQ. Well today is a very impromptu video. I'm literally sitting at home waiting to go to work uh, here in a few hours and I'm extremely bored so I figured I'd go ahead and put some parts on the Waffenworks AK-74. Um, I actually wanted to go out and shoot this first uh, before I put all this, these parts on. But it's kind of hard to have these things just sitting around and not actually install them on your new gun. So, um, like I said, I haven't actually shot this yet. Um, I've told a couple of you guys, but a lot of you probably don't know, that <clears throat> I did get a 1,000 rounds. actually 1,080 rounds for this thing. Bought it quite a bit ahead of time uh, before Christmas. I did visit family during Christmas, so I thought if I had it shipped to uh, one of the relatives' houses that when I was either going through or coming back home that I could... Uh, pick up the ammo for this thing and I'd be good to go. Well, it was on a slight delay because of all the buying that's going on and it didn't show up till after I came back through and got home. So I have a thousand rounds. They're not here. They're at a relative's house and I'm hoping to pick it up soon so I can go shoot this thing. So I don't want to wait until then to get these parts put on here because they're just sitting here staring me in the face. So um, we'll see how much I get to today. Uh, what I'm going to try to do all here in one shot is uh, let's see what I want to do first. Oh, we'll do the, um, the U.S. Palms uh, AK Battle Grip. Uh, we're going to try to do the uh, Krebs Custom um, Enhanced Advanced, still don't know what it is, uh, Safety. I'm going to try to install the uh, Voltor Buffer Tube that I took off of my SGL. Can you get it to focus there? That I took off my SGL 21 when I decided to go uh, the traditional wood furniture on that guy. Along with the uh, Voltor buffer tube, we'll be installing the CTR, the Magpul CTR stock with the cheek riser. <clears throat> and uh, just so I don't leave the front end with the wood furniture, I'm going to be putting on the um, the front handguard in black so it all matches. So uh, that's what we're going to try to do here in one shot. It might be a two-parter. I don't know how much I want to get done today. Depends how much this thing fights me. If it goes pretty smooth, I'll get it all done. If I get frustrated, I'm just going to give up for today because, like I said, it's kind of an impromptu video. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Let me move some things around and we'll get started. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with the U.S. Palms Battle Grip here. Um, as you can see, it is quite a bit uh, wider at the base there. So it's definitely going to give you a better grip on your AK. So uh, It's got a waterproof, I think it's waterproof, uh, compartment down here. It comes with the necessary screws to um, install it. So, other than that, let's get started. Um, people have been complaining to me about doing stuff off camera. Those of you who do videos know how hard it is to do things on camera. People say, well, why don't you flip the camera around on the other side so you have uh, better access to the gun. It doesn't really work that way. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where people put the camera on the other side facing toward them. And when they're doing their, their stuff, obviously they're going to face it toward them, and if the camera is on that side facing this way, you're going to miss uh, a lot of the stuff. So this is the only way to really get a good view of how I look at things. So uh, just bear with me. I'll do what I can on camera, but the stuff I can, I'll do the best I can to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to take the dust cover off. Um, let's see, let's do the safety check for those of those guys who are nervous out there. Magazine's empty, yada yada. Chamber is clear, so we're good to go. Um... So the dust cover, taking that off is pretty simple. I'm going to do this one part of camera because it's easier if you put it in your lap. You uh, push in this button here and pop your dust cover off. So let me go and do that real quick. All right, it was that easy. Already done. Okay, so the dust cover is off. Uh, go ahead and take your spring out. Uh, your bolt. And we're going to put this off to the side over here. Hopefully, okay. So we're going to need a screwdriver for this part here. Actually, it's a flathead, of course. Alright, so you have a uh, flathead screw down here at the bottom of your pistol grip. And as you see, there is a, a bolt, a, a nut, whatever you want to call it in there that's holding the grip on. So all we're going to do is unscrew this thing. See what I can do without bumping the tripod as usual. You guys want to make sure you don't lose that <coughs> bolt, nut, whatever you want to call it in there. You don't want that thing disappearing on you. All 
All right, so there's that piece sticking out. I'm gonna leave it sitting there so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to take the provided screw and looks like it's a lock washer here. Take it out of the bag, fold up this compartment, and give it a good effort here. Oh, of course, it's not a it's an Allen wrench. All right, gotta get tools handy because. Normally these things are, are Phillips, but this uh, looks like it's an Allen, and I've got a provided Allen key here for it. So put that in my screwdriver. Now this is always going to be tricky, especially to do this on camera, so we'll see what happens. So i got the compartment open. I'm just going to drop the screw in here. Oh, really? Well, this might be difficult. The screwdriver doesn't reach far enough to get that screw in there, so I wonder, hmm, I got an idea, give me one second. <sighs> Alright, well if it keeps up like this, I'm not going to be doing very much today. Head over to my garage and get the old uh, hex bit socket set, so I can use the extension and actually install this thing, so let's see if I, hope to God I have the correct size for this. Alright, so we got it through there. Gonna hold that sucker in place. Do our best to do any sort of cross threading here. Is it sticking? Okay, it is. Oh. Right, so we got it going. Okay, make sure we're all good there. Sorry about the bump. I'm just gonna go hand tight for now. I'll tighten that down in a second. So the grip's installed pretty easy there, besides having to go through all these different tools here. And yeah, that is that is way more comfortable than the stock uh, grip there. All right, so next part we're gonna be doing the, the I guess we'll do the uh, buffer tube next. Now in here you're gonna have a couple of Phillips screw screwdriver screws here. Uh, when you take these things out, guys, I don't know about this one, but a lot of the times these butt stocks are damn near impossible to get out. Uh, a lot of people use vices and pull these things out. So this I'm going to do off camera because this might be almost impossible, but we'll do what we can on camera here. Let me get the flat head here. All right. Go ahead and take this off. One. Now there's two. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to come off here. It's not too bad. All right, I got lucky. That came off pretty easy. So there's that one. Now it's a matter of where I put this with this guy, figuring out which one of these plates here is going to fill up the space of the rear of the receiver back here. So let's see what works. Um, God, it's been a while since I've done this. I forgot how it goes. All right, okay, that's right. So slide it on here. See if that one works. Wow, losing my mind, guys. You might want to take out the screws that are already in there before you try to install it, or it won't work. So let's go ahead and take this out. Okay, front one. Oh, yeah, I forgot, guys, too. The Voltor buffer tube's got this little uh, locking nut washer in there, so don't lose that. This guy should just come right out. I think these are different lengths, so I'm going to make sure I could be wrong here. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've installed this. Yeah, so you want to remember the longer ones in front. So let's try 
the one I just did, put this sucker on here, wrong way, there we go, we're going to test fit this real quick, that one seems to work, but I'm going to go ahead and just give this other one a shot, make sure, alright guys, so we got a winner, end up being this uh, longer piece of the three, let's see what the differences are here, um, I don't see a difference between these two really, but this one is the one if you guys have a Waffenworks uh, that will work for it. So, just so you guys know, I can do this on camera now, it's a little easier. All these parts laying around here. So I just took the Voltor buffer tube, I put on the spacer here, and I slid it on here to fill up the space. Let's see if I can show. Uh, as you guys can see there, it's filling up all the space in the back of that. So that's good to go. But, just so I wouldn't lose it, I took out that little nut I told you guys about. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that back in. I'm going to slide this on here. And hopefully it fits this time. There we go. Okay. So, let's see how I'm going to do this on camera here. Okay. All right, so that's on. One. Just so you guys know, I'll go back through later and retighten these things with some Loctite. That's when I make sure everything actually installs properly. And then I'll go back through and make sure everything is good to go. Man, Jesus, this is here forever. Alright. So that stuff is tight enough for me. Alright, so the Voltor... Let me get this stuff out of the way real quick. The Voltor buffer tube is installed. I'm going to get rid of all this other stuff. I'm going to keep these. And just so you guys know, um, when I first started getting into guns and accessorizing them and stuff, I used to get rid of my old parts. Um, never, ever get rid of old parts unless you absolutely have to have the money. Uh, there's been times, I can't remember what I was installing, that it didn't... Oh, it was when I got the, um, the wood furniture for my SGL21. It didn't come with the swivel. So I took it off of the stock um, polymer buttstock that came on the SGL21. Uh, you just never know when you might need this thing. This could break, something could happen, and having backup parts is never a bad idea. An easy way not to lose your stuff is to go ahead and put these back in here just a little bit, just so they don't fall on you. Now those won't get lost, and I have an extra uh, buttstock in case I ever need to install it. So that's on there, guys. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Alrighty. So that's installed. Uh, one thing that's really cool about the Voltor buffer tube, guys, is it's water, uh, waterproof compartment in here. You have to unscrew this, and you got a little compartment to store whatever you want. It has a sling point attachment here, so no point in buying any one of those sling points that come off the, uh, I don't know, the side of the grip here, or I don't even know where the other ones they sell, or buying one that attaches to the rear of the receiver so you're all covered there now to get the um, Magpul CTR stock on just so you guys know this is uh, this buffer tube is uh, mil spec so you have to get the mil spec uh, uh, CTR stock not the commercial so to install this thing uh, the CTR stock's got these little tabs on both sides here you need to pull them uh, down which is a little bit of a task and then once it's down uh, you can just go ahead and slide it on to the back of your um, AK, let the tabs go, and you're good to go. So let's see if I can do this on camera here. Can okay, get it on there. Boom, it's on. Okay, so that's installed. Pretty simple. So we're good to go on that part. Uh, now let's do the Krebs safety. Okay, get this thing out of the way. All right, this part is really easy to install as well. All you gotta do here is 
Um, I'm going to make sure the hammer is forward because sometimes if you, uh, when you're removing this, it can pop your hammer or your trigger, which will move your hammer. So we're going to go ahead and let that go forward. We're just going to pull this up all the way. And it's going to pop out. And as you see, guys, there's um, a longer slot here. So you can see it's wider. All right, well, I can't see it. There you go. So it's just going to slide into that slot and turn. So that's out. Take this one out. All right. Well, that feels way different. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see in the finish. Yeah, you kind of can. This uh, this definitely is rough. You might be able to hear it. And that's smoother. It feels a lot better, actually. Okay, so same difference here. Put it in here. Hopefully. There we go. Push the hammer back. Oh, let me check this out real quick. Something went wrong. <clears throat> so here's the deal. It looks like it's working. Well, it is working. Um, it's just like, it's almost too loose. I'll have to, I'll bend this inward a little bit to make it just a little bit more tension, but when it's on, Safe. I'll grab the hammer make sure in case it doesn't work. It doesn't let the hammer go forward when it's on fire. It does work. So it appears to be working. It's just really loose, which is scary because if you hit a bump and that thing comes off safe, that's not good for anybody. So I'll deal with that later. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. So that's installed. Uh, if that happens to you guys, uh, just take it out, take this little piece, and bend it toward the receiver just a little bit. Don't do it too much, and that should help that pin right on that receiver just a little bit tighter. So that's an easy fix there. Uh, let's go ahead and go on to the uh, fore end here. Uh, this is going to be the first time I've broken this thing down, so let's see how... Yep, okay. So I just use this little guy here. Well, let me do. Holy sh... Oh. Man, that is tough. Oof. Okay, so that goes up, and then this will come off. Let me just do this off camera as usual. Oh, man, just bumped it. All right, so I bumped a little bit of the camera. So that thing comes off, guys, when that lever goes up, as you can see right here. It, uh, oh, man. Releases a little lever here. I don't know if you can see that right here. It allows you to pull up uh, this. Okay, let's get this off and see about. Now this is also difficult too, guys. What I do here is I will take I'll take this little piece off here, and I will take my trusty tool here, and hopefully it'll work this time. Pinch this thing down and rotate this sucker. Let's see if we can get it here. Alright guys, that really wasn't that bad. So I pretty much took this piece, this tool here, and I crimped down on that, grabbed this, and just turned it counterclockwise. It actually wasn't, that might have been one of the easier uh, four ends to take off. So um, that's off, so that's good to go. Let me put this little guy back on. Okay, that piece is back on, the little guy there. Uh, now to get this part off, you're going to have to get this little lever in here, uh, vertical, and that will release the lower end here. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Alright guys, we're back. That took a quite a bit longer than I expected. So I got this thing to to fit. Um, it took quite a bit of a little modification on my part. Um, some of the tabs on the inside here were just a little bit too long to fit inside. So I used my uh, trusty pocket knife here and just scraped off just a pinch of that plastic to that fit in here plus the metal tabs that were at the end here were just a little bit too long uh, went to fit in here compared to this one so I took a uh, file and just shaved it down just a hair nothing major it took me about oh maybe 10-15 minutes just to get the fitment right because I didn't want to take off too much this thing still should be pretty snug um, so that got installed it looks pretty good now I'm going to um, I'll just so you guys know so I got it fit on there so when you take this thing, you loosen up this lever all the way up, and this piece will slide all the way forward, allowing you to drop off your lower handguard here. So once you get it in the back first, you're going to pop it up, 
You're going to slide this piece back on and push that tab back in. So we're good to go there. Now we're going to take this piece, hopefully it doesn't fight me. We're going to put it in here. Let me make sure that we're looking to go there. So we're in there. Now to tighten this down, I'm going to use this tool again because it's... Let me make sure I don't want to screw it up. Oh, yep, yeah, hold on. I don't think I had it down far enough. So I'm going to loosen it back up. There we go. So you guys heard that thing snap. So I got that on there. And just so you guys know, when I was fiddling with this thing, I also took this off and bent it down toward the receiver a little bit. And it's already um, quite a bit tighter. As you can see, it's actually kind of hard to move around. So that's on there. Um, I'll play with that some more here in a little bit. Like I said, I'll go back through and get everything tightened up. I just want to see what it looks like. So let's get everything put back together here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't tell you guys, and I kind of forgot until I started taking this off, but you are going to have to remove your cleaning rod in order to take off your lowered handguard, of course. So you're going to get your bolt. I'm going to make sure everything's as far forward as possible. I'm going to take this. Slide it in. I'm going to take your spring. And put that in here. Set it down here. And let me get this dust cover on and we'll get the overall look of this thing. Alright, dust cover is on. Just checking the safety real quick. Making sure it's not going to... Alright, well, there she is. All, I guess, tactical up. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but that's why I keep extra parts laying around, guys, because obviously at the time I didn't think I was going to get any more AKs. I did, and I was able to reuse my Voltor buffer tube, my CTR stock. Um, my This is the stock 4, and I came up the SGL 21. So all those parts were, ever to, were able to transfer over to this, and I didn't have to buy anything new. So that's why you guys keep your parts. Um, all in all, this thing looks fucking wicked now. Oh. Uh, sorry for cursing, guys. Uh, this thing looks awesome now. So, uh, hopefully I get that ammo here soon to go out to the range. I did buy a uh, sheet of steel and a shepherd's hook. Um, I'm going to take that out and, and do some shooting with it. I'm not sure I'm going to do the rifle with it quite. Well, I can't do this one because I don't have any ammo. But um, I think when we first go out and shoot, I'm going with a friend. I think we're going to do pistols first. I have some of those clips that um, allow you to attach clay pigeons to a wooden dowel or any type of metal rod. And shoot those. So I think we're going to do a little course where we have um, a couple stations with the clay pigeons and the last station will be the steel target. So um, hopefully we'll do that, do that soon. It's uh, pretty freaking cold outside right now guys so um, I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon. But uh, the football season's over for me. Uh, my Seahawks lost. Um, a little bitter about the whole thing. Um, I That's twice now that um, we've let a team score within 30 seconds. If you guys remember back when Seattle played Chicago, the Bears, uh, we scored, thought we'd won the game with 30 seconds left, and they let the Chicago Bears drive down the field, tie it up. We won in overtime, but they let them uh, score in 30 seconds, and they did it again. The Falcons were a great team. I actually didn't expect us to win, but when uh, we had that momentum going, um, I thought we were going to win that game. I don't understand why we changed up our defense. So the whole game, the second half, we were we locked them down. And we played that soft zone defense and let them get those couple of 20-yard passes. And then they kicked that field goal. And then, holy God, I mean, I was working, so I didn't really get to see the whole entire game. And I'm not sure, but did Pete Carroll really call a timeout when he kicked that field goal and missed it? I hate this freezing thing. That's something the that NFL needs to do away with. I hate when people freeze kickers. Just let fate decide. Let them go out there and kick that ball. Or there should be some rule. You can't, you can't call a timeout when the line's down. or before the, It has to be well before the kick. I just... Drives me insane. But anyway, um, but yeah, here is the uh, Waffen Works AK-74. Uh, just to go over everything again, we have the uh, stock uh, polymer furniture that came with the SGL-21. Um, I have my Tapco 30 round magazine that I luckily got before this ban. Uh, the Krebs Safety, which I'm going to have to look at because I just noticed that there is a gap here. And I don't know if that's, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. 
And it's just a little catch right there. Okay, never mind. So we're good to go. Uh, Krebs Enhanced Custom Safety, whatever. The uh, US Palms Battle Grip. The uh, Voltor Buffer Tube. Uh, mil spec with the mil specs uh, Magpul CTR stock and the cheek riser. Uh, this Waffenworks also has the uh, rail on the other side, so if I wanted to attach an optic on here, I can. And to let you guys know, I I've been on the waiting list for the um, what is it? The primary arms, primary arms, micro red dart, micro red dot that has the same uh, bolt pattern as the aim point micro. So you can buy all the same mountings as the aim point, uh, that Ultimac rail up here that allows you to put the uh, the primary arms red dot low enough where you can co-witness your sights. Well, I was on the waiting list for that thing, holy lord, back in October, and it was supposed to be the end of December, and it's still not in stock, and when December hit, it said end of January. When January hit, now it says end of March, I believe, so... Um, I'm a little frustrated with that. I might be sending them an email to see what's going on there. Um, I know it's all that frantic buying that's probably hard to keep things in stock, but like I said, I've had this thing. Um, I've been on the waiting list since October, so I should be due here soon. But um, that's the install, guys. Um, if you liked it, please feel free to hit the like button. It really helps me out. Uh, if you guys have any questions on any of these parts, uh, feel free to ask them in the comment box below. Um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe.